Hey everyone, and welcome back to I Think I'm Getting Chubby. My whole life I've been a relatively skinny and lean dude because my metabolism has been kicking butt and taking names, and I've never really had to think about losing weight before, but then I started to get older. For the past few years my weight has consistently stayed between like 180 and 190 pounds, which isn't bad for a 26 year old man who stands at 6 foot 1. But with stress and some bad eating choices over the past probably half a year, I've ballooned to almost 210 pounds. Look, I don't think that that's a horrendous weight for my size necessarily, but when I look at the BMI, it says I'm overweight, so this is awkward. And BMI isn't technically the best way to determine one's overall health, but my double chin it speaks for itself. Now there are many ways to lose weight, but because you've seen the title of this video and probably the thumbnail too, I'll just cut to the chase. Nintendo is easily my most favorite video game company, for better or for worse. But my favorite era of Nintendo is easily the Wii and Nintendo DS era. And one of my favorite games from this time period is Wii Fit. Assuming most of you know what Wii Fit is, I'll keep my description of it very brief. It's a fitness game that was released on the Wii in 2007, followed by an enhanced version, Wii Fit Plus, in 2009. You use motion controls and the Wii Fit balance board to play games and do various exercises, all while tracking your progress. It's an all time classic. While some people have also used Wii Fit to try to achieve their weight loss goals, I want to take this idea a little further. Exercise is essential to being healthy, there's no way around it, but what's also important is diet. So the Nintendo game I'll be using to help assist me with what I put in my body will be Personal Trainer Cooking on the Nintendo DS. I use the term game loosely because, I mean, it's essentially just a virtual cookbook but it does guide you through recipes step by step, and it even has voice controls, which I know is like a feature that we all take for granted today, but for 2008, that's pretty cool. So the plan is basically this. For the next 60 days, I'm going to exercise and track my progress with Wii Fit Plus. The 60 days is gonna go from April 1st to uh, May 30th, so that works out really well for me because that'll be right after Easter and it's not a normal Easter for me if I don't get to eat a bunch of Reese's eggs in the morning until I get a tummy ache. I'll also be using personal trainer cooking to cook some of my meals. To lose weight you need to have a feasible plan and I already know how to cook a little bit so like it would just be tedious and also pointless to cook every single meal I eat using this game but it will serve as a nice reminder for me just to say, hey, make sure you're eating better. Even though I like the plan I have for myself, I feel like I can add one more thing because we have exercise, we have diet, and I wanna add cardio. Now, cardio obviously does go with exercising, but cardio is something I just don't do very much. Like the only time I run is when I play basketball or if the wind takes my balloon. So the other game I'm going to use to help move my body a little bit more will be Pokemon Soul Silver on the Nintendo DS and the device it came with, the Pokewalker. I've actually never used the Pokewalker before, but I just think it's such a cool little piece of Pokemon history and I wanted to try it out. And shout out to my cousin Derek for letting me borrow his so I didn't have to buy one on eBay. I love this era of Nintendo, so I'm excited to enjoy some nostalgia along with some brand new experiences. And I'm really curious to see if I can actually lose 10 pounds using all this stuff. So let's hop on the balance board and start day one. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Really quick, before I start, I have this right here. And if you can see it, it is a Best Buy uh, We Fit sweatbands, I guess. <laughs> Not to flex too hard, but I'm also using the Mario Wii Remote. So to start day one, I put in my basic information and then I did my very first body test. After checking my center of balance and completing some tests, the game determined my Wii Fit age. Here we go. Moment of truth.
That's pretty good. Despite being overweight, they still considered me two years younger than my actual age. Then I put in my weight loss goal and proceeded to play some games. Wii Fit doesn't really tell you how long to exercise each day, so I decided to do around 30 minutes, which is about the same amount of time my mom used to do back when she played this game. A big goal I have is to beat my old ski jump record of 348 from when I was a kid. To be fair, I was a lot more balanced and agile as a kid. I finished up by absolutely crushing the hula hoop game. And boy, did I work up an appetite. All right, I'm here dressed in my nicest attire and we're gonna do some cooking on personal trainer cooking. Spinach sauteed with butter. Mm mm mm. <laughs> we got the spinach in the water boiling. Let's see what the next step is. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Are you gonna want some too? Or is this all for me? That's all for you. Okay. Your loss. <laughs> <laughs> so we got some butter in there. Add the spinach and saute it, stirring it in the pan so that it doesn't clump together. I love how I'm trying to lose weight by cooking from this frickin' game. And the first thing I'm doing is just throwing a vegetable into a big vat of butter. <laughs> Here's some pepper, there's some salt, and then a pinch of nutmeg. Perfect. My cameraman is kind of grossed out by the smell, but that's because he doesn't know good cooking when he sees it. It looks like a dog that just vomited up grass. <laughs> Here's to losing weight with 2009 Nintendo. It's actually not as bad as you would think. That being said, I'm not gonna finish it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get spinach into my diet by just putting it in my smoothies. Like I said, it's not very feasible to cook all of my meals using my freaking Nintendo DS. So um, I'm gonna try to take inspiration from some of the recipes in here and just try to do a little bit more home cooking, and then I think that'll bode well for me in this weight loss journey. So now that we're done cooking, let's go for a stroll with our Pokemon. And when I'm not playing, I have my Pokewalker on me. I use mine to find items I can use in the game. I can also catch Pokemon and connect with friends or my brother. I use mine when I run to earn lots. I just took 5,000 steps. What about you? Hey, me too. The Pokewalker is interesting because there's not really a lot you can do with it, but I still think it's just such a cool novelty. I do like how every step you take is one experience point because it's similar to like if you're actually playing a Pokemon game and you put a Pokemon in the daycare and then they get experience for every step you take. So I do like the commonality there. The Pokemon I decided to walk with is the famous Red Gyarados you can catch in the Lake of Rage. I have been on a few walks already, and I've noticed catching Pokemon with the Pokewalker can be a bit tough. You basically have to get lucky and predict what the wild Pokemon is gonna do, whether that be attack, evade, etc. And it has a chance of running away too, or just knocking out your Pokemon. Items are pretty simple to find, and that's really it. And as you saw in the ad, there is a feature where you can connect your Pokewalker with other players, but, I mean, come on, it's 2024. I'd have a better chance of finding Bigfoot than finding someone in my area walking around with a frickin' Pokewalker. I don't really have a specific goal for using the Pokewalker because, I mean, you're catching Pokemon and finding items that you can use in Soul Silver or Heart Gold for that matter. But I mean, this video isn't about me playing Pokemon Soul Silver. It's about me trying to exercise more. So the only benefit I'm really getting from using this is that it'll encourage me to go for more walks. And you know what? That's good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, other feet. Ow. Wow, I'm glad I documented this abuse. She hit me. You guys heard it. She hit me. So today is day eight. I just finished recording um, my exercising and whatnot for WeFit. 
Um, but I wanted to quickly go over the first week of this challenge, if you want to call it that. So here are all of my Wii Fit ages from days one through seven. My worst age for the week was 30 on day four, but that was only because I messed up the memory game. Okay, I was really bad at it, so just leave me alone. I will say though, on day six, I got 100% on the walking test, which it's pretty crazy because most people that I've seen on the internet who have also used Wii Fit to lose weight, they've really sucked at the walking test. So I was surprised to get a perfect score on it. And you'll notice on day seven, my Wii Fit age was 20, which is the lowest age I've gotten so far. And I will admit, I cheated on the balance test. Specifically, I cheated on the one-legged balance test because the Wii Fit balance board gives me just enough extra height that I can touch the ceiling. So I was able to just hold my hand up and keep myself balanced by just pressing my fingers against the ceiling. I also tweaked my back playing the chicken game, which it's just a really humiliating way to injure yourself when you look like this. One more thing worth noting is I also got a 344 on my ski jump. So close! Ah, uh, Just four away. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> of course. On a day I'm not recording. Ugh, oh, what are the odds? Today is day 14, so similarly to the first week, I want to do a quick recap of the second week. So here are my Wii Fit ages for week two. A little bit better overall, aside from day 14, but we'll get to that. On day 12, I also got a high score in Advanced Step, which I haven't really mentioned that game up to this point, but it's actually one of my more favorite games in all of Wii Fit. I don't know what it is. I think I just have a lot of nostalgia for it, especially the music that plays. And if you get really into it, you can, you know, like, clap along with the music, and it's funny to just watch all the other Miis uh, doing the dance as well, and all of the Miis just in the crowd, just like, jamming out to your dancing or whatever it is. <laughs> One thing with Advanced Step, though, is I get really frustrated when I don't get perfects, because it's actually really hard. And look, it's not going to be perfect, but I'm really trying to figure out the correct timing so that I can get the highest score possible. So maybe now that I've beaten my ski jump record, I can try to get as good of a record as I can in advanced step. But one thing I noticed about doing the games where it's either the obstacle course or the marching game or just something where you're constantly stepping or walking or, you know, trying to emulate something like that, my feet make a really loud noise when coming off the balance boards. <laughs> I guess they don't call them grippers for nothing. On day 13, I got 25 as my Wii Fit age, so pretty good, one year less than my actual age. And I also tried to focus more on doing strength training for my back, and I also got a record on the advanced obstacle course, so that was pretty cool. So the elephant in the room is me getting my worst Wii Fit age up to this point of 32. To be fair, the body test was absolutely brutal to me today. The body test gave me the memory game, and it also gave me the test where you have to stay really still. So I didn't do very well standing still, but to make matters worse, for the memory game, I forgot to look at the instructions on, like, what numbers I was looking for, like which amounts are higher than this amount and that kind of thing. So I had to completely guess, and it was pretty bad. But one thing I've noticed is my weight hasn't really been changing that much. I think technically from starting day one, I have lost weight, but it's kind of just been fluctuating. It's like I gain like one and a half pounds, or I lose one and a half pounds, or just somewhere in that range. So I think I really need to do a better job with my diet because I can't be doing things like having leftover pizza for breakfast. That's not gonna help me. Okay, I'll start eating better right after I finish this. Hi, 
We're gonna take a break for some quick yoga analysis. My back is not straight at all in this pose. It isn't straight for this pose either. This one isn't too bad. I don't know what I'm even doing here. This one is actually pretty hot. <laughs> Today is day 30, so we are officially at the halfway point for this challenge. So here's my average Wii Fit ages for the first four weeks. I got my lowest average of 22 this past week, so that's pretty good. It seems like we're trending in the right direction here. But one major thing I've noticed since embarking on this weight loss journey is my love for Wii Fit is suffering a little. The games can get boring after a while, and the body tests can be super frustrating. For example, my worst Wii Fit age so far was on day 17. Great, now it's gonna give me like 30 something. I also find myself trying to weigh in whenever my stomach is at its emptiest. I always try to do that so that I'm at my lightest, because the balance board does not hold back. From the moment you step on that thing, it lets you know how it feels about your weight before even telling you the number. Overall, I would say my diet has mostly improved since calling myself out on day 14. Whether it's personal trainer cooking or just cooking something based off of a recipe from the game, I find that I've been doing a lot better job of having more variety in what I eat, but it could definitely improve because I still find myself snacking a little too much. I also wanna try to do some more meal prepping, especially just for my lunches throughout the week because by doing that, I can make the decision, hey, I'm gonna make something healthy, and then this is what I have to eat, instead of just deciding in the moment and then grabbing something random out of the fridge. And I definitely need to go on more walks. My red Gyarados has not seen very much action um, since starting this challenge, so I definitely wanna put more emphasis on the Pokey Walker. Um, for this last half of the challenge. And since starting on April 1st, my overall weight loss has only been about two and a half pounds, so I really need to lock in for the final 30 days. Video editing Evan here. I forgot to mention that on day 25, I also beat my ski jump record again, but I kind of cheated. I guess the best way to win is to not do the form correctly at all. Do you like my new couch? Today is day 42, so I want to go over my progress since checking in on day 30. As you can see, this past week was my best Wii Fit age average of 20, meaning I got 20 for every single day this past week, so that was pretty good. For day 35, I got some high scores in soccer, juggling, and basic step. I'm pretty sure I haven't mentioned juggling yet, but it can be really fun if you're more coordinated than me. I also think I have officially plateaued in advanced step. Maybe my rhythm just sucks, but I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to four star that game. And after realizing I wasn't gonna get a high score, my stepping shows that I clearly stopped caring. Ooh, and I got really annoyed when I found out you can't get hit at all in expert snowball fight. On day 39, I finally played the Kung Fu game, which is actually a ton of fun, and even though my timing isn't the best, I still found myself wanting to go back and play it again, so maybe it can be my regular game that I play in place of advanced step. I also realized it's much easier to do the stillness test while just sitting on the balance board, so I guess I technically cheated on the body test again. <laughs> Sorry. Lastly, I've tried to play more games that I haven't spent that much time on, because like I mentioned on day 30, Wii Fit has started to become a little boring, so I thought changing it up might help, and I was right and also wrong about that. While it was a nice change of pace to play different games, 
There's a reason I don't really play them. Skateboarding is hard, I'm slow at math, and the driving range game is probably the most finicky game in all of Wii Fit. I did, however, almost get the ball to go in the hole, so that was pretty exciting. With two more weeks to go, I have 5.7 pounds to lose, so... We'll see if I can do it. As you can see behind me, today is day 46, so I wanted to try something new uh, with Wii Fit Plus before this challenge is over, and that is like the pet feature. So <laughs> I'm gonna use my plush Pikachu as my pet, and I don't know if the game will register it or not. I don't, it might not be heavy enough, but we'll see. I guess I didn't really know what I was expecting, but the pet feature in Wii Fit is pretty dumb. All I did was register my cat <laughs> by entering its name, date of birth, and by getting its weight. Part of me felt like I was gonna be able to play games with my pet or something, but <laughs> I guess that's not a thing. All right, so that was about as useful as a two story outhouse, so I think we're just gonna move on. Sorry, Pikachu. Hey, quick update. It's day 52, and I'm starting to get extremely bored of Wii Fit. I'd rather watch the NBA playoffs than be doing this right now, but the pursuit of excellence never stops. Today is day 55, and... I don't think this is working. I'm not gonna throw all of the blame on Wii Fit, Personal Trainer Cooking, and the Pokey Walker because at the end of the day, if I'm trying to lose weight, it falls on me. But I still want to try to lose the 10 pounds by the end of the 60 days, which is why I bought an elliptical. I'm still going to use Wii Fit for the rest of the time so that I can do the body test, get the rest of my Wii Fit ages, and so I can do a weigh-in every day. I will admit the Pokey Walker could have potential, but it didn't really do much to motivate me to actually go for walks because it's not like I'm actively playing Pokemon Soul Silver, so I don't really benefit from catching Pokemon and, you know, picking up items. And while personal trainer cooking is a fun novelty from the Nintendo DS. I mean, who am I kidding? I have not been eating like anything that that game has recommended because the recipes are just too much. And like I said, I wanted to do variations of the recipes, which I kind of did, but it also just recommends a lot of different cuisine that I'm just not really into. I plan on using the elliptical for about 30 to 60 minutes every day until this challenge is over, so we'll see if I can reach my goal and we'll check back in on day 60. With the 60 days finally concluding, we're going to do one last update. Here's my final Wii Fit age averages over the course of the challenge. And as you can see, they gradually improved over time for the most part, but that mostly just came from me getting better at the body tests. I'm confident your Wii Fit age has nothing to do with your weight and everything to do with your body test performance. For the Kung Fu game, I got a new high score on day 15. 53, but it still wasn't a four star. Similarly to Advanced Step, I'm just gonna assume that you need to be pretty much perfect to get four stars in that game. Finally, on day 60, I finished up the challenge by playing Basic Step, Advanced Step, and of course, Ski Jump. And I actually managed to get four stars in Basic Step, so that was a pretty cool way to go out. As you probably noticed, throughout the video, my weight was constantly going up and down. But how much weight did I actually lose by the end of the 60 days? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so, did I reach my goal to lose 10 pounds by the end of the challenge? What do you mean? Of course I didn't. I just showed you. Pay attention. But in all seriousness, I think it's safe to say that all the things I used didn't do much to help me lose weight. To be fair, Personal Trainer Cooking isn't supposed to be a game that gives you a bunch of healthy recipes, but I thought it could at least help me do more home cooking and meal prepping when, if done right, 
can help you lose weight. I do still appreciate the Pokey Walker for what it is, but there was pretty much no good reason for me to use this thing other than giving my thumb something to do while I went for walks. Finally, I think it's been pretty well documented that Wii Fit Plus isn't exactly the best way to exercise and lose weight. All in all, it wasn't a horrible way to track my progress, but most of the games just serve as like a showcase of what the Wii Balance Board can do. Losing weight and exercising can be fun, but it's not going to be fun all the time and after a while, I really started to feel burnt out playing Wii Fit. The day after I finished the challenge, it actually felt weird that I didn't have to play Wii Fit that day. And I don't plan on playing it again for a very long time, so that balance board character is probably gonna assume I died or something. You could probably say I technically lost weight using 2009 Nintendo, but that still might be inaccurate. Weight fluctuates every day, so in reality, I probably just so happened to end the challenge on a day where my weight had gone down, but that's just a theory. Anyways, that's gonna about do it for this video. I wanted to thank you all for watching because this video took me a very long time to make, and I also wanna thank my cousin Derek again for not only letting me borrow his Pokey Walker, but for also filming me while I was cooking. And let me know in the comments if you think I look less chubby now that the challenge is done. <laughs> Go ahead and check out some of my other videos if you'd like, and I'll see you all next time, so stay tuned for more.